So this is. Wow. So this is my fire room. Oh, it smells like fire. fire. So I have a very small little pot. I put charcoal on the bottom and I use wet hay. And it, and it demonstrates smoky. Oh, wow. Because it definitely smells yeah. smoky in here. So they come in here. They would come in. That, those stair rails when we came up and they would make entry through that front door. And there's a, there's a room here where they're, it's simulated as a bedroom. It's all smoky, you can't see anything. These are like two beds together. I know they're not the real thing, but, and then I have a victim over here. So the first team comes in is a search team and they're looking for the victim. They find the victim and the other team coming in is the hose line advancement. And the hose line advancement is looking for the seat of the fire to extinguish it. Wow. Yeah, so they make an entry in there and then they would come through here. Like this is a little hallway, and this would be the kitchen area, the dining room area, and stuff like that. And wow. then this is considered the bedroom. So over here, I had somebody sitting under the table hiding as one of my dummies. So the room was Which is something that somebody might do. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. The bathroom, we have a bathroom that people would hide in there because there's a door so they can protect and shelter. Right. Wow. I leave areas like where we would find people behind doors, in bedrooms, in closets, under stuff. Yeah. Cutting a, cutting something like this, this is also not uncommon, right? No, you might... we usually breach walls. So I, yeah. And so each stud is 16 on center, and we're taught to go between the studs. But because we're removing victims, I, I took out the studs, so it made it a little bit easier, and we didn't have to do... I don't want to hurt my guys. I want them to play and have fun and, and train. Learn and, yeah. Right, and not get injured. Every firefighter that comes into my town in the last few years under my new position, training officer, yeah. they go to the fire academy. They do 14 to 16 weeks at the Connecticut Fire Academy where it brought and taught everything. There's education, they educate, they do hands-on stuff, they have real life scenarios like this. And they have buildings built for that and they teach people that no idea except they want to be firefighters and they train them to be the best of the best right and, and you have a young department right now very young very very which young. is a very good thing no it's good for me Keith, you know, I, I i love doing this stuff and when you have people that are willing to do it and put their effort in but it just makes us better this place this is an experience that nobody will ever be able to get